good a time as any. A uh, real quick tutorial on how to adjust the seat elevator on a wheelchair that has dead batteries. I've got this M300 sitting here, and this procedure is gonna be pretty much the same for most permobiles that have 3G seating. But what we have here is a chair. I know the batteries are good, but they're really, really dead. When this thing was put into storage before I got it, they did not turn off the circuit breaker. So while the batteries are in fact new, they are beyond the point where the charger will do anything when you plug it in. Now on the back of all these permobiles, there's an Allen wrench that slides out of the seat right here. I've already taken it out. It's got a little grease on the bottom, so I'm not gonna put it back in. But you'll see it right here. It latches into place and goes down into the seat back. Now to do this, you wanna pull that thing out of there. I already started taking this thing apart and then I realized, oh hey, I should do a quick video on this. So you're gonna to wanna to pull your cushion off. And then there's gonna be, there's gonna be four bolts, one in each corner that holds all these seat pans on here. So you wanna take those out, remove both halves of your seat pan, like so. Now the only trick with this procedure is this seat has to be fairly level. If it's tilted back, you're gonna have a hard time getting the wrench down in there. But basically, once you get your seat pan off, we'll take our super long Allen wrench and you're gonna notice a series of holes here. Typically when the seat is flat on most of these, if you're looking at the front of the chair, it's gonna be the hole furthest to the right and towards the front. So you're gonna put this down in here and it's gonna kind of engage in the seat elevator mechanism down there. And then basically all you have to do is turn this and our seat will slowly start to raise. It takes a fair amount of force to do this and to get the thing up tall enough to uh, get your battery covers off is gonna take a moderate amount of work. But as you can see here, well, maybe you can see it's moving very slowly. Our seat is raising up. You can see now we've got a little bit of a gap here. Normally this is almost touching in the back, but I'm just gonna keep going for a little ways here. There we go. It should be tall enough for our purposes. And now I can get underneath here and get to these little screws that hold the front cover on. In this case, what I'm doing is I'm using a jump box to uh, kind of trick the charger into turning on. This is actually a perfect application for Lazarus, the battery booster, but I don't have it with me and I'm trying to uh, get these chairs moved around in here. So we're just gonna do it this way. Not the most recommended thing in the world, but um, there we go. And now we can remove our front cover. Okay, I'm gonna have to raise it up a little more. I didn't realize the uh, foot plates were so far tucked in there. You gotta have a lot of clearance to get that cover out. All right, got a little more space now. Let's see if we can pull this out of here. And all right, there we go. Now I've got access to the, uh, to the front battery here. And uh, I can work on start, or st and I can work on getting this thing revived or at least uh, powered up. It's probably not good for my watch. Anyways, there you go. Uh, real quick little thing on how to use this uh, crazy long Allen wrench to adjust the height on a chair that's dead.